Hi, and welcome to Pyography Made Easy. I'm Brenda. Today's video is going to be something new for my channel. It's going to be a vlog. I will be answering some frequently asked questions, talk about my plans for my channel, and lastly share with you my assorted projects that I am currently working on. But before we get started with that, I want to talk about the three challenges that I put on my community post. The three challenges. If you're not aware, I use the community post feature of YouTube to share ideas with you and tidbits of information to help with your biography projects. Well, during this last month, I issued three challenges on that community post. I put links in the post to my website blogs that had the reference photo and the free pattern. If you did one of those challenges and would like your artwork to appear in a future video, then send it to me. Send the image to pyographycontest at gmail.com. Make sure you include how you want your name to appear in the video. You have until October 31st to send me your photo. If you didn't see the challenges, I will put a link to them in the description below. And by the way, I only use that biography contest email for things like this. The rest of the time, I completely ignore that email. Okay, so let's get to the Q&A segment of this video. Q&A. The most commonly asked question I get is what type of burner do I use and where can it be purchased? I use a Colwood Super Pro 2 and it can be purchased directly from Colwood on their website woodburning.com. I will put a link to that in the description below. The second most common question I get is what type of wood do I burn on? My preferred wood is basswood. I like it because it is pale in color. It doesn't have a lot of grain lines and it's a little bit softer so I don't have to burn as hot. Now basswood is also referred to as linden, common linden, or common lime. No, it's not related to the lime fruit tree. I also like to burn on maple and poplar. I will also burn on plywood because you can find plywood almost anywhere. It's relatively inexpensive and you can get it in really large sizes. I have a blog on my website where I talk about the different woods that I've burned on and my experiences with them. And each time I try a new wood, I update that blog. I will put a link to that blog in the description below. The next question I get is, Am I on Facebook? No. I am not on any social media other than YouTube or my website. If you find some social media platform claiming to be biography made easy, it's not. I am only active on YouTube and my website. Okay, my next common question is, do I provide help or critiques of artwork? No. I'm flattered that you would want my opinion on your artwork, but there are just too many people wanting help. It would be a full-time job trying to keep up with all of the requests, so I just can't do it. Now speaking of requests, I do accept requests for demonstration videos where you want to know how to create a specific texture, an object, etc. Just be aware that I can't promise when I will get to your idea. I mean, it could take weeks, months, or even years, depending on how motivated I feel and what's going on in my life. If you are wanting a demo video quicker than what I can provide, then I recommend trying Pyro Crafters, Burn Savvy, or Drawing with Fire. All three of them do fantastic artwork. I can't promise that they will accept your request, but it doesn't hurt to ask. I'll put a link to their channels in the description below. Okay, here's the last question for this video. 
would I translate my community post into other languages? If I could, I would. Currently, there isn't a way for me to do this. Plus, there's a character limit on my post, and sometimes I'm right up to that limit, so I can't provide the translations within the body of the post. What I recommend is that you send feedback to YouTube asking for translations on community posts. In the meantime, you'll have to use Google Translate or something like that. Okay, so we are done with the Q&A segment of this blog. But I want to mention, if you have any questions that you would like answered, put them in the comments below and you might be featured on a future Q&A episode. Okay. Now I want to talk about my plans for my channel. Channel Plans I have had several people request that I only put tutorial videos on my channel. That's not going to happen. Tutorial videos are very labor intensive for me to make. Generally speaking, each minute of a tutorial takes me one to two hours of video editing to create. Plus, there's all the time doing the translations and the CC work on, Google, on YouTube. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining about this because it isn't like anybody is forcing me to do it. I'm just explaining why I can't produce a weekly tutorial. If you are interested in learning more about what goes into creating the tutorials, just leave a comment and I'll cover that in a future session. Now, what I do plan to start doing is creating more mini tutorials. These are tutorials that would cover a texture that I put in one of my art projects or provide tips to help you get better results with your projects. A lot of the community posts that I write up would be great subjects for this type of video. I also plan to do a monthly Q&A session because it allows me to answer questions in a way that more people will see them, plus the videos don't need much in the way of editing. Basically, my general plan is to try and create more videos that will be helpful but don't require so much editing time on my part. Now I'm going to share with you my current projects that I am working on. Current projects. Abstraction is a just for fun piece of artwork. I love all the details and the depth and the contrast. The bison is something I started recently. I'm experimenting with the fur on the face. I used a writer pen tip and burned an open circular motion over all of the fur. Then I plan to go over that with a flat shader, and I'm hoping like heck it will turn out okay. The iguana is something I started quite a while ago, but for some reason I'm having a hard time staying motivated to keep working on it. The jaguar is coming along nicely, at least I think it is, and it's part of my final round of cradleboard testing. The koala is a project that I have been working off and on for this past year. The assorted fur textures have been challenging for me, so I'm taking my time and working slow. The lion is another piece of artwork that's been a bit challenging. The uh, long mane around the face is looking way too smooth right now. It needs to look a lot coarser, and I'm not 100% sure on how to get it there. This nativity scene is a combination of pyography and watercolor. I created this during my break from YouTube. I had so much fun with this that I created a colored pencil version of the artwork too. The Northern Bob White was a piece of artwork that I expected to finish up during my break, but something isn't looking quite right and I'm trying to figure out what the problem is. My last project is a tiger, and I really like how it's turning out so far. This is my final cradle board that I need to test, so I'll be glad to get all these cradle boards done. I've mentioned cradle boards a couple times. It's nothing more than plywood with a wooden frame. There are numerous brands, I, and I wanted to see which one was the best, and is the price any factor in that? 
Conclusion Well, that's it for this Q&A episode. As I mentioned before, if you have any questions, leave a comment and your question may be featured on a future episode. Well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.